Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the next comedian, Joel Forrest. Yeah, 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 how's everyone doing? Yeah, trying to find myself on stage. Kind of hard, I'm like the most generic white man on the planet. It's, uh, it's kind of tough. If I was a superhero, I'd be like, Beige Cameraman! To the rescue in a moderate amount of time. Form of golf on TV. Shape of Dave Matthews Man. It's tough, it's tough. One thing I'm happy about though is that uh, Y2 is a minority in California, so I get to play the race card. <laughs> the other day I was up at Starbucks in Beverly Hills, I'm like, hey! What's the white man got to do with some motherfucking vanilla latte in the Starbucks? <laughs> oh, I'm in the wrong line? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I yell sometimes. You do too, Brandon, Joel last <laughs> It's tough. It's tough. You know? Grew up an only child. Not easy, you know. I, my, my my imaginary friend, who's my best friend? Now he's like just a pissed off dick who's been my roommate for too long. It's no fun. But sometimes I use my imaginary friend to my advantage because I live near K Town, got drive through there all the time. You know, get stuck behind like Kim, the teenage Korean driving girl for the first time. <laughs> I like it though. I like it. I don't get angry because I'm like, what the fuck's going on in that car? You know, it's like some weird K-pop super music musical. You know, she's like, It's Kim's Driving Day, number one USA. It's Kim's Driving, <laughs> taking selfies, everyone screaming and shouting encouragement and honking for Kim. <laughs> Kim number one. <laughs> when I get home, shit ain't even easier there. I gotta park my car as a crosswalk. Walk up, it's one of those things you gotta push, push the button, right? The lights are not gonna change if you don't push the button. And if there's someone waiting there, you gotta walk up and be like, does this look like the kind of person who's gonna push the button? Or are they, do they have button awareness? <laughs> Is this person gonna push, or should I push the button? But will that make that person feel awkward because I pushed the button? Well, we could be here for like 20 years, so I should probably push the button. Excuse me, man, I'm just gonna push the button. She's like, excuse me, it's already turned. She clearly pushed the button, I feel like a jerk. Living in uh, Little Armenia. This rapidly gentrifying apartment building. All these old Armenians, they've been there forever. Now all the hipsters are moving in. My, uh, my neighbor, he's like, why does everyone look like uh, anorexic lumberjack? I'm like, I, I don't know, man. That's the way hipsters look now. And I'm like, I'm going to get to know these Armenians. I'm a very PC white guy. So I like, you know, I'm always peering out, seeing what's going on. You know, it's hot. They got the doors and windows open. I'm looking in. There's like four little guys with white beards are like playing back there and smoking, sweating, yelling. Yeah, the baby in the background. Yeah. Whose baby is that? No, these people that baby. It's like weird. Or me and cable access channel, where it's just like people screaming at each other all the time. Ah! Like they're creeping around. Like so, old lady pops up. I'm like, whoa. She's like stirring boiling meat. I'm like, that's where that smell comes from. I'm like. Hi. And she's like, you know about the button in the crosswalk, asshole? I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. But yeah, I think my anger stems from uh, my inner weird dialogue. I grew up in Fresno. Anybody know where Fresno is? Woo! Yes. Fresno. Fresno is a city with an identity problem. It really is. And this is literally the city motto of Fresno. Fresno, a culture of excellence where people expect the very best every day. That is the city motto. He knows. That's the city motto of Fresno. I don't think it ac accurately reflects, re reflects Fresno. So I've been working on my own city models. You guys have to help me with this. Fresno, because you ran out of gas on your way to Southern California. <laughs> Fresno, come for the meth, stay because you're on probation. <laughs> Fresno, if you can make it here, you might want to say push. <laughs> and Fresno, there's five Walmarts and one college. That's 8% more Walmarts. <laughs> and finally, Fresno, birthplace of super ordinary white guy. Thank you! Yeah.